Hey there, Internet. So, I just thought I would do a very short clip here about inking. A small tip um, about placing your lines that comes up when I'm tutoring students fairly often. Um, so, this is a page from Dracula, Son of the Dragon I'm working on. Uh, theoretically page 74, although it may actually get changed around a little bit. So I'm just on the last bit now, down here. But I'm using a mix of... Uh, brush and pen work and something that comes up a lot is uh two two tips actually first one and i've mentioned this before this first one a few times but it's relevant to when i'm the second one which is that when you're inking uh you don't want to uh trace your pencils so i one thing i do is i keep my pencil work a little bit loose sometimes i'll i'll refine it a bit and these are uh, printed blues by the way so this has uh, been printed on a, a jet printer do them uh, in rough and whatever media if you like, sometimes it's pen, and they'll turn them into blue lines like this and print them out. But I'm not going to overwork them or over-refine them uh, usually because I want to keep things fairly loose and don't want to waste time. And also because I don't want to perfect it to the point where I feel obliged to perfectly copy it in the ink because... I mean, if I were going to do that, then I would just, uh, I would really refine them in pencil and uh, scan those and make them dark and use those as my inks. And, and you could do that. But I still like working in ink, but I'll keep the, these pencils fairly rough. Sometimes I'll go in and, you know, clarify a little bit what I want to do. Um, just snap the little point off my pencil there. Um, but on the whole, other than like little revisions like that, just to clarify lines, uh, or like for the character like this guy, uh, this is a likeness of a, a, a Kickstarter backer who uh, supported the project. That was John Kagan? Josh Kagan. I'm not sure if it's Josh Kagan or Kyle Smith. Um, that's another backer, and, and uh, this character here is a backer, and, and so is this guy. These are all Kickstarter backers who, who pledged to be extras. Um, so I'm going to do it with this face too. I'll, I'll refine it to get the likeness a little bit more on point. Um, but other than that, I want to do a lot of the refining actually in pen. And this is all to say that what you don't want to end up doing is tracing the line. Because that's when stuff gets overly stiff and, and stagnant and loses its expressiveness. and It just doesn't look as good. Um... So you're always sort of redrawing. That said, when you're looking at the forms, and this is the second point that I wanted to make, you look at the shapes you've made, and if you ha are happy with them, like say the shape of this shoulder it works pretty good, or the shape of his shoulder pad there, one of the things you want to do is be very attentive to where you're placing the line. So it's pretty common. I'll see people will pencil something like, say, a hand. And then they'll ink inside the forms. This is a bent finger. All right. So I'm going to use a brush to illustrate this point. So let's say this, this form is what they want, but they'll ink inside the form. and that'll make an unusually skinny finger because they're working inside the line. Usually when you're penciling, what you're doing is outlining the forms that you want. So when you ink, make sure that you're aware of, unless you want to change it, that you're working around the outside of the forms you like. To make forms that have the mass and solidity that you desire. To get the results that are okay, right? Because when you go on inside again, what you do is eat into the space and then they end up too skinny, too narrow. This is really common. So there are times, like I just said, you don't want to trace your drawing. So there are times where I'm going to want to revise it, 
Uh, I think I, in this case here, this drawing of Dracul, his jawline's a little off, so I'm not going to follow that line exactly at all. When I ink it, I'm going to clean it up, and I might even go in like pencil like this and refine and make a little more square jawed, just to basically give myself a note about how I want to change that. Uh, his his nose is a little too upturned, so I'll often do a lot of little tweaks with pencil like this, just to remind myself. But even when I go to ink that, I'm not going to trace those exactly. I want to uh, re-express them and refine it further with ink. So I'm redrawing with ink, not tracing with ink. And then if the forms have the mass I like, especially like something fine like this horse's leg, had I inked inside the form, it would have become a tiny little pinpoint and the white space that essentially describes the interior form of the leg would have become minuscule and it would look too skinny, look like you have stick legs. So be attentive to when you're inking, where you're placing your line. If it's on the pencil line, if it's inside the form or outside the form, and whether that suits the goals you have in mind. So, for example, this shoulder pad, I like the size of it, so I want my ink line to be on and outside that line. So I'm going to build it up. A lot of this armor, I'm actually doing it with pen. Because it gives me a... I use pen a lot for hard surfaces and things that are firm and and uh, need that sense of uh, hardness about them. And then I'll use brush for things like hair because it's really well suited to feathering forms. Um, and then by going around the outside of the form, I, I have the mass that I need for the shapes. So that's it. That's a very small little note, but it's a it's a common uh, hanging point for people doing uh, comic art, comic inking, or, or inking in general. That when you go into ink, that you are overly uh, uh, loyal, sort of, to the pencils and trace them and don't improve and refine further, which is really the idea. The whole reason you would do rough drafts, so like thumbnails and then pencils and then inks, is to have an iterative process where you're refining the work. Uh, if you're just copying what you did the first time, then there is no improvement. To, that's not that's not what it's about. It's not what it's for. So um, always make sure that you're not tracing. And then when you do go to ink, consider whether the form you have done in rough, its mass and uh, how full the body is, where you're placing the ink line. Typically you want it to be around the outside of the form, not on the line or cutting into the form. Um, those are really very useful inking. They'll make your end results a lot more satisfying. Uh, if you're doing those two things, always trying to refine and watching how you uh, describe the mass and form and that you're putting the line around the outside of the form, describing the space rather than cutting into it, um, you'll get much better results. Okay, if you want to subscribe to my videos, hit the subscribe button, uh, like to help other people find my stuff if you liked it, and don't forget I have a Patreon, patreon.com slash salgood, and you can pledge to support my work, uh, or you can go to salgoodsam.com and just buy it outright in the store. Uh, you can get my books in digital form or uh, print on demand, and uh, those are all ways you can help support my stuff. Um, have a good one. See you next time. Right?